Today, we're gonna be talking about some of the most infamous and craziest post-fight moments in combat sports. First, we're gonna talk about Ronnie Jason and Jeremy Stevens back in 2013. Jeremy Stevens beat Ronnie Jason, and then Ronnie Jason proceeded to go backstage and punch a hole in the wall, which resulted in 22 stitches and a, and a medical suspension uh, from the commission on that night. Pretty unusual for a guy who just got into a cage fight and then needed 22 stitches, not because of the cage fight, but because he decided to punch a hole in the wall. And uh, his UFC career, you know, was not very long shortly thereafter, but uh, definitely goes down into one of the weirdest moments, I think, uh, to happen post-fight because, you know, you can see guys frustrated, but, but not to that level, let's say. Next, we're gonna talk about Iron Mike one of the greatest of all time, as we all know. In his fight against Holyfield after the you know, infamous ear bite, he actually gets so upset that the Las Vegas police has to come into the ring and he almost starts like fighting the police, really. So he goes from fighting Holyfield, getting extremely frustrated there, to then kind of getting disqualified after round two, and then basically starts fighting with the police and then the whole place is mayhem and Iron Mike got suspended for a little while and you know, everybody knows the story from that point on, but uh, I think it definitely goes down. Obviously, the ear bite is one of the most really famous moments in sports history, but Iron Mike was fighting uh, quite a few people on that, on that very famous evening. Lastly, we're gonna be talking about Leon Edwards and Jorge Masvidal and the infamous three-piece in a soda uh, backstage sucker punch that Jorge Masvidal threw at Leon Edwards. Jorge Masvidal had just come off a massive knockout victory over Darren Till in his hometown, where I don't know if you guys remember the knockout in itself, uh, Till had Masvidal very hurt early on, knocked him down with a, with a left, and then Masvidal came back and did that little like a fake right through the left, and then Till was out cold on the canvas, head bounced on the canvas. It was really like instantaneous, and I think shocked everybody in the arena that night. And I think that's really kind of where the, the legend of Jorge and Masvidal grew, really. Not just because of that knockout, but because it also showed that he had a resurgence in his career. And then backstage, he's talking to Laura Sanko, and Leon Edwards walks by, and then Jorge Masvidal kind of, he kind of puts his hands behind his back, and then walks over to Leon, who's kind of walking away, and then he's like, hey, hey, let's talk, let's talk, and then just hits him with a little boom. And, uh, and I believe Leon Edwards actually bled and had a cut under his eye from that. And then obviously security came in and then they asked Jorge later on what he had just done. And he was like, you know, don't talk about this, that, or I'll give you the three piece in the soda, which became his, his big, you know, trademark there in, in the, within the UFC. And honestly, I think at that point, people wanted to watch Jorge fight more. And then his next fight is probably the most famous knockout in UFC history is the five second flying knee to the face knockout of Ben Askren and then the superstardom just skyrocketed from there. And for Jorge, I would argue that was probably one of the best things that he could have ever done just to give himself a little bit more more hype, which then, you know, he parlayed into a, a fabulous knockout of Ben Askren. So.